we have no conception of what it means for God himself to come down here and take on human flesh so he could identify with us in all of our pain and all of our temptation and all of our struggles and say, I am your deliverer. I understand you and I will bring you through to a total place of victory. We don't understand. But the more we study it, the more we think about it, perhaps we can have more understanding. He shared in our humanity. He knows what it means to be human, to struggle, to hurt, to get your feelings hurt, to need to forgive, to not be bitter. <laughs> he knows. And because he has gone before us and been successful, he has paved the way for every one of us now to go through following him and be successful also. You do not have to live your life angry. You don't have to hang on to something that happened to you 20 years ago and let it ruin the rest of your life. You don't have to do that, and you don't have to spend the rest of your life in recovery. It may require some time, but it shouldn't take your whole life. We shouldn't be struggling with things our whole life that happened way back here somewhere. I didn't get a good beginning, but I'm determined to have a good finish. And you can too. We can learn how to love people that don't love us back. We can learn how to be nice to people that are, that are just not nice. You know why we can do it? Because Jesus did it. He was our forerunner, our example. He came from glory. He came from heaven, willingly, of his own accord, took on human flesh and went and condemned sin in the flesh so we might be free from having to live that low life and give us a higher life. He stripped himself of all privileges. Verse 8, and after he had appeared in human form, he abased and humbled himself still further and carried his obedience to the extreme of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore, because he stooped so low, God has exalted him and has freely bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee must bow. So what do we see here? He surrendered, and he had pain, but then he had pleasure. Do you hear me? He surrendered, he had pain, and then he had pleasure. Well, we want to not surrender, have no pain, and all the pleasure. Do you get that? Some of you are right now are at a spot in your life where you are so tempted to back off of something that God's trying to get you to confront because it's hurting. Anybody there right now? Well, then I'm here to tell you, go all the way through this time. 